in an effort to vaccinate as many people as efficiently as possible. Hartford Healthcare just opened their new mega vaccination clinic here at the Oakdale Theater in Wallingford. Starting today, March 1st, Connecticut residents aged 55 and older, as well as our state's educators, are eligible to receive their COVID-19 vaccine. This includes teachers, paraprofessionals, custodial staff, food service providers, bus drivers, and child care providers, as well as in-school administrative staff. I think the vaccine really offers us hope. It's light at the end of the tunnel. And as healthcare care uh, providers, we were first in line to be vaccinated. So now it's our turn to give back and to ensure that every single American has access to the COVID-19 vaccine. People waiting patiently to get their vaccines to get one step closer to normalcy. For Westbrook resident Joe, who helps take care of his eight-year-old grandson Dominic, the word relief comes to mind. Spend a lot of time with him. He's special needs and it's, it's been a rough road helping our children bring up our grandsons. It's just, he's had quarantine twice from school. And so I can't wait to get through this. It's a big relief. I think we're all looking forward to some return to normalcy um, as soon as possible. Jacqueline from Hamden receiving her second shot of hope and is thrilled for the little things in life, like trips to the grocery store and visiting her nine grandchildren and six great grandchildren. They say I will have a little bit more freedom, um, even though I wear the mask, which is fine, but at least I can be in the presence of my family. You know, and I can go shopping, which I like to do. Um, it's just, uh, it's wonderful to be able to realize that I'm going to be able to have a little bit more contact with people. Typical wait time from registration is approximately two to three weeks. Hartford Healthcare tells Fox 61 right now they're registering patients through the end of March. Each registration bringing us one shot closer to the end of this virus. Lauren Zenzi, Fox 61 News. All right, Lauren, thank you. And we have an update.